here. Yep. The Ohio boy in the white and blue singlet. Voinovich out of Brexville. Well, win or lose here, uh, by the way, Voinovich has been ultra impressive. Uh, me and Nomad talk about it all the time. We follow kids since they're in 7th, 8th grade. As Enchimandia tries to run one down, he does. That was smooth. Beautiful gut. I mean, this is going to be a difference maker. His gut wrench. But we say it all the time. We follow kids from when they're little on up. And we knew Voinovich was coming. And you think they're going to be great. And then they maybe hit some bumps in the road. And you say... Oh, Maybe he's not going to be that great, but then ultimately, without fail, it always happens. After those bumps in the road, you're like, yeah, he's really good. He's here. He was just a hair faster than Joey Zargo in the semis, but I, now it's many of I thought that was going to be a dogfight, and yeah. it turned out to be all Voinovich. Now, on the flip side, Etchemendia, who beat... Uh, Incoming Oklahoma State guy Chance McLean in the semis. Etchemendia looks to be a hair faster than Voinovich here in the finals. That's right. So Etchemendia, uh, again a 2019 guy. Um, you mentioned that he wants, you know, he's looking to go in W cap. Voinovich, 2021 guy. Every school in the country is after him. You know, so we'll see where he ends up. Still uncommitted as of now. Etchemendia also beat Derek Fix, who was ranked seventh after a... Derek just Fix? A Derek Fix. Did I say Derek Fix? Mm -hmm. That's because Derek Fix just texted me. Okay. Derek Fix is not ranked seventh at 145 pounds. He's ranked number one in my heart, though. Uh, but Derek Fields is ranked seventh, and Etchemendia teched him 11-0, and that was the moment where everybody was like, uh... Who's this guy? Who is this kid? Well, he's looked excellent here in the finals so far. He's uh, he also lefty lead. Both these guys lefties all lefty. I see here. Good scramble from Etchemendia, and that's going to be eight zero. The first real opportunity Voinovich has had, and Etchemendia turns it into his points. But I think they're going to blow this one dead here. Now, listen. Yeah, maybe not. Yeah, I ain't trying to throw no shade. And I ain't trying to take away from anybody's accomplishments, but. With, I because I was told he's 19, it's fine, he's of age, but they don't keep they don't keep good records in Cuba. <laughs> I don't know, man. I th I think it's fine. I mean, Voinovich is going to go on to much bigger things than just Fargo. I think he'll be okay. Well, he yeah, he'll be upset if he loses the match. Well, if he's not able to come back here. But I know what you're saying. On one hand. On the other hand, it's like, uh, and I'm not saying he is too old. What I am saying, though, is <laughs> don't, possible. Don't, don't say don't say that, well, it's no big deal, you know, he'll go on the bigger and better thing. You can't say that if, if, in fact, he's going to have to say, well, I almost won Fargo, but I got beat by a 23-year-old Cuban. <laughs> right? Um, and that's not what it's I'm saying at all. That's not what I'm saying at all. What I'm saying is unusual story. there's a lot of people in the arena that have come up to me and say, do you, think this, this do you think this dude is really of age? I mean, he wrestled and in... I don't know. How do I know? He wrestled in Arizona. It's like, when you wrestle in high school, basically the high school age limit in the state, in, in, in the sta states, is the same that Fargo has, right? You can't but... He, but I know, I understand what you're Does saying. Does he have a birth certificate? I would assume so. You would assume so? Yeah. Let me ask you this. We're spending too much time on this. Part. I know, but it's just a fascinating story. Yeah, it is. That what time, Voinovich is going to finish it. The, look at the adjustment, the second period adjustments of Voinovich there. And I was kind of, you know what I was expecting? I was kind of expecting some Cuban leg defense there. But let me just, one last humorous point. If I were to say to you, Nomad, do you assume that all Cubans have birth certificates? What would your answer be? 
Yes. Yes? Yeah. They don't even have them. The baseball players don't even have them. <laughs> they don't even know what to do with baseball player contracts because they're like, should I sign him for four years or ten years? He might be 72 years old right now. <laughs> Anthony Etchemendi is 75 years old. Uh, Voinovich going to have some trouble here coming back because I don't think Etchemendi is going to let him hit that lefty high C again. Etchemendi, though, kind of uh, shutting it down a little bit here. I say that, though... Uh, Voinovich looking like he's going to finish the second one, so bad job on my part. Ninety seconds remaining in this bout. Now the timing of it is what's going to can Voinovich get two more in the next ninety seconds. Might go back to that lefty, that lefty shot. He's got in on it a couple times. Underhook for Etchemendia, working him to the edge. There is is that left, that lefty shoulder deep though, and Etchemendia in on a crotch lock. Good adjustment to get his shoulder, his head out. Vo Voinovich is kind of. But again, Etchemendia counters for the two. I think white, yeah, paddle, white paddle there. White paddle. No, no two. Voinovich kind of, uh, he took a hair too long to decide what he was, if he was going to hang on to that or you saw him drop down to uh, that right leg of Etchemendia on the back. And I think kind of cost him uh, potential two there. Obviously great defense there by Etchemendia. That's a shot, and that's probably going to ice it from Echemendia, 10 to 4. And I don't think he's going to do much with the gut wrench here. If I'm well, it, so I fire off one more lefty guy. See, try to at least get to 10 6. What a story. There's We run into the situation um, every few years. Last year there was a uh, Cuban or Dominican young lady. I think it was actually Puerto Rican. Puerto Rico? Yeah. Uh, something about a hurricane, right? It was yeah, a she, hurricane. She, she, had to, she had to flee because of a hurricane. And she won Fargo. And now. She won Fargo. Uh, there was about 10 years ago. Uh, you know who it was? Nagy. Holly Nagy? No, it was Peter Nagy. Peter Nagy. And he was wrestling. He was destroying everybody in Greco. Oh, shocker. And from Iowa. Yeah. And everybody immediately looked him up and said, uh, I don't know who this is. Well, he's from Hungary. <laughs> <laughs> well, congratulations to Anthony Echemendia. So that makes uh, Sunnyside High School three different Fargo champs in the last, when RBY won his last one, 2015, 2016? Last five years or so. What was Vega? I don't believe Vega was Sunnyside. Not sure though. Danny Vega, you're talking right? Yeah. 